The Irish were not so lucky in Galway earlier this year, experiencing three floods in the span of 30 days. Each flood surpassed the floodgates and entered buildings, causing upwards of $20 million of damage throughout the city. The worst damage could be found by the river, on a street rightfully titled Flood Street. We, can, we always get this, the name of the street is Flood Street, so we always get a flood once a year. But this year we found three times on the road. Samad, a worker at Kumar's Indian and Asian Cuisine, believes the floods are just a part of business as usual on Flood Street. You can't stop it because it's not a street, so there's no way to stop it. It's, it we are, the restaurant itself is one, one feet down, so one is, and the street is high and down as well, and the water come in. Um, it depends how moody is the weather, you know, but the west coast is crazy, so it's always just, uh, if the wind depends, the, 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 the rain is follow the wind and then flood follow the wind as well, so. If the winds come this way, it'll be more flood always. You never know, you can get it. Even during the summer, you never know. City Councilman Niall McNells, owner of a Clotta and Celtic jewelry store on Flood Street, explains his struggles after the floods. We spent 20 grand to do a place, and we were open about a week and a half ago, and um, it came back in again for the second time. So here we go again. So three times in one month we got hit. We're delighted with like that we got back open and trade is good, but um, there's only so many times you can be hitting that. For me to spend 20 grand means I have to make 80,000 in on turnover. So. The jewelry store's neighbor, a cafe, also experienced a lot of damage during the floods due to the structure of the building. First built 500 years ago, the building lies on rubble, giving easy access for the water to enter into the building through the floor. January, March. April, September, you get higher tides than normal by maybe up to a metre, metre and a half than normal. But that's combined then with high winds. That's what brings the flood water over. If the water rises up, the wind pushes, creates waves that come over. And the water's that high, the storm drains don't work because they're flowing into water, they're not flowing down. And they get backed up. So what happens here is we're in a little basin and it flows from two ends. Due to the location of Flood Street, businesses here do not qualify for insurance. Therefore, after every flood, business owners are forced to repair the damage with money out of their own pocket. I was lucky my landlady was understanding. She lives in the area and she's also flooded. So she cut me a deal on the rent, but I was closed for six weeks. Uh, he also nearly went under, he really did, you know. Um, you know, I have a family with three kids at home. Two of them are under one of them's four months old, 16 months old. So six weeks at this time of the year, we've really had some reserve which I planned to make improvements on and bring the family on a holiday. <laughs> All that was gone. Because Galway is a medieval city, it has a shared pipe, meaning rainwater and sewage use the same pipe underground, causing backup when it rains. While there is no simple solution to stop the flooding, City Councilman McNellis says the government is trying to set aside $15 million to redo the sewage system. Joe Hoaxley, owner of Cop's Web, a China store on Flood Street, believes the government is trying, but not much will change. It would be good to see a lot more money being advocated to flood hit areas. Um, in the past, the summer will come along, everyone will forget about it, and all the promises will be forgotten about. This time they will actually start thinking about how to deal with it in the future because it is going to be a problem. For Castlewell today, I'm Hannah Perrin.